in my view, you're likely to see the greatest fall off and where you've had the biggest bubble are the ones uh, tend to be the high end market and they tend to be ones where people have bought for investment or speculation uh, rather than use. A billionaire investor Warren Buffett warned about $1.4 trillion debt that can become a tsunami that will take over the real estate market and the real estate market will collapse. But I do think that the hollowing out of the downtowns in the United States and elsewhere in the world is going to be quite significant and quite unpleasant. I think the country will get through it all right, but uh, as they say, it will, awfully, it will often involve a different set of owners. Yeah, and the buildings, the buildings don't go away, but... And, the owners do. Well, <laughs> but, the, but most people like to buy with non-recourse in, in, yeah. in real estate. And Let's take a look why it's happening, how it will affect Dubai and what you can do in this situation. Real estate market in US is highly exposed to the loans and the mortgages. So it's very rare when you can find somebody who is buying property in cash. All of them are going to the bank. Let's take an average family. Somebody is uh, buying a property, they have to pay like uh, some down payment, let's say it's 20%, and uh, the rest is paid by uh, the bank. And on that amount that is paid by the bank, the family needs to pay an interest to the bank in form of the percentage. So for a very long time, this interest was almost at like one, two, three percent, very, very low. And uh, right now it's keep on increasing. Some of these families had like a very good agreement where they got a fixed interest rate loan, where it uh, doesn't matter what is happening with the market, they're paying the same amount. It's actually a quite good deal because in case if the interest rate will go down, they can refinance their property. Uh, but it's a rare case. And uh, this is something that doesn't exist for the commercial uh, market, by the way. So what happened when the interest rate goes up? It means that now you, don't have to pay 4%, now you need to pay 5%. And we think, okay, it's just an increase of uh, 1% from 4 to 5, but actually it's an increase of 25%. So if you were paying, let's say, uh, like $100 as a mortgage, now you need to pay $125 for, for your mortgage. And imagine if it is like 5,000 that you're paying or something like that, and you need to pay it on top of uh, 5,000, you need to pay uh, extra. It's a big amount of money and every percent make a huge difference. Some families have savings to cover this extra payment, some of them don't. And if you don't have uh, savings to cover such increase in mortgage, you need to go to the market and sell your property. At some point, you will realize that your neighbor has to do the same because he as well has the mortgage and another neighbor as well has the mortgage. So what happens? A lot of properties are coming to the market. And now the buyer has a lot of options to choose from. And obviously they will try to reduce the price to the minimum. And this is how the price of the property is, is going down. So interest rate is extremely important important part to pay attention uh, to. And for the last one and a half uh, years, the interest rate in US was growing. And um, Warren Buffett thinks that it's just the beginning. Here is what he has to say about it. So what does it mean to Dubai? There is $1.4 trillion debt in US. So we can say that the US is far away from here, but national currency of uh, UAE is linked to the dollar. Whenever they increase interest rates, the interest rates everywhere in the world goes up. So it will affect Dubai as well, especially uh, buyers who are buying the property with the mortgage, or maybe they already bought it. If you bought the house with uh, your mortgage in the last year, it uh, should be okay because a lot of mortgages offering a three-year fixed uh, interest rate uh, offers. So it's, it will be easier uh, on you to see what, what is happening. But in case if uh, the interest rate will keep on going higher and higher, we will have a swell in Dubai more and more sellers. And if you are looking to buy right now a property using the mortgage, just keep in mind that maybe you will have to pay more after some time. So try to negotiate with the bank if you can get a fixed interest rate. And in case if you can get it, you will be able to, to change it in case if the interest rate will go down, as I said, you will just refinance your property. Uh, what does it mean for the uh, cash buyers? For cash buyers, it doesn't mean absolutely anything unless they are planning to sell their property. Uh, maybe right now is a good time to, to enter the market just to be uh, on the safe side, as, uh, as they say. Because once again, if the interest rates goes up, there will be more buyers. If there is more buyers, or oh, sorry, more sellers, uh, the buyers will try to reduce uh, the price when they are buying something. And uh, if you are a cash buyer and you're keeping your unit for rent, you are not planning to, to sell it, 
as there were a lot of people here in 2008, you can just uh, wait and see what will happen and keep on getting rent from your tenant. I have a client who used to have a lot of properties. He said that he didn't even notice uh, 2008. He was just uh, holding the unit, units. The units were, were keeping giving him rent and he was just uh, enjoying and getting the fruits out of it. So he didn't even notice uh, a crisis of 2008. For somebody who is planning to enter the market, right now is very interesting time and uh, you need to adjust the strategy. How would I adjust it? If you're planning to buy uh, an investment property with the mortgage, maybe it's not uh, a right time to do this. And if you're applying a property with the cash, go only towards a very, 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 very good deals. Everybody should, should change their strategy from a short term uh, investment to more long term as a proper real estate investment is. It, it's just uh, recently people start buying and selling real estate in a short period of time. Otherwise, you buy a property and you keep it for many, 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 many years and then you will sell it and buy, buy something else. So this strategy still works. It will keep on working if you don't have uh, very high expectations about uh, how soon you can uh, exit uh, the unit with a good profit. So this is what I think about this situation. If you want to discuss it more, feel free to get in touch with me and um, I'll be happy to discuss with you your strategy and see what we can do with the current market.